question first. Who are you and where are you from? All right. I'm Logistics Specialist First Class Petty Officer Nathan Andrew Channel from Valley Head, West Virginia. Could you spell out your name for me? Nathan, N-A-T-H-A-N Channel, C-H-A-N-N-E-L-L. -L. And uh, how does it feel to be here for the 75th anniversary of D-Day? Uh, at first, uh, I was a little skeptical because we had already did two, uh, three poor visits, so whenever they told us we were going here, Abel's K came to a shock, but after I realized where we're going, it, uh, I was really excited. This is, uh, this is hallowed ground for me. My grandfather was a glider pilot, and he was involved in D-Day, and he uh, flew also in Market Garden. Uh, and it, my, also my great-grandfather was here during World War I as well. He was General, per, General Persing's personal blacksmith, so it was, uh, it's a great honor just to be here. So what are you looking forward to the most about being here? Just walking on hallowed ground. It's, uh, it's just, it's just going to be an experience for me. Could you elaborate a little bit about your uh, grandfather? Uh, my grandfather, he, uh, I can't remember if he flew in with the 101st or the 82nd, but he was a glider pilot. Uh, his co-pilot saved his life whenever they crash landed. Uh, so outside of that, uh, I don't know too much more about his, uh, his service time, but I just know he uh, was involved in D-Day. So how does it make you feel now being his grandson? Representing. It's it's an absolute trip. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. I am honored to, to pick up where my grandfather left off, as well as the rest of my family that served in Vietnam, Korea, especially my uncle Andy. He was a POW in Korea, so picking up where everybody left off, it's an honor. So why do you think it's important for us to do commemorations like this? Um, to do a commemoration like this, it's a way of looking forward but at the same time, look at where we've came from. Uh, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of countries in uh, in Europe were were unstable after World War One, and just to see that stability, that instability, turn into a war and what it created, and what we've done to uh, to stop that aggression, and to uh, and just create the stability after the war, and what we've done since then, commemorating what we've done is the best way to go forward with that. I, I understand that uh, most countries don't really agree with each other right now, but looking past that, look at what we've done together, that's what, that's what the big part of this is, looking at what we can do together. So do you have anything you'd like to say to people back home? Uh, you just talk to them directly. Uh, well, to my wife in Jacksonville, I love you. You put up with a lot from me. Uh, to my mom, this, uh, this means a lot to you more than it does to me, and I'm happy to be here for you. So, I love you all. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Where's your mom? She's in Valley Head, West Virginia. She's back home. Okay, and uh, is there anything you'd like to add? Uh, this is just a, a great opportunity, a once in a lifetime opportunity that I'll probably never ever experience again, even though I do plan on coming back, and I wanna look at all the battlefields throughout Europe that is right in my wheelhouse. I, I, I love history. I love that what we've done, and it just shows the strength and unity and whenever everybody works together towards a common goal, I am gonna come back here. But this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and nobody should ever pass it up.